Hey guys, it's Kinsai Vito here and welcome back to my Brighton career mode uh, on FIFA 17. In the last episode, uh, we, I left off asking you guys uh, whether I should go back to Legendary or stay in World Class. As you can see, um, the last episode in Legendary, we lost the game 3 nothing to a bottom uh, of the table team. But uh, when we switched to World Class against our top of the table team, we ended up smashing them 6-1 um, I believe it was. So I asked you the question if we should go back to Legendary or just stick with World Class. And one of you guys I left a comment saying that I should go back to Legendary and maybe when I when it's hard in the Premier League, uh, go back to World Class. So I'm going to stick with that uh, plan. So we're back to Legendary. Let's just hope we don't lose any more games. Alright, so for this game against uh, Sheffield uh, Wednesday, I'm going with uh, Mimbeb Lawton up front. He scored a... Uh, I think four goals it was in the last game, even though uh, overall class, he did score a lot of goals for us. Bailey will be up uh, left mid, Towell, Norwood, and Fusimento will be at center mid. Naka will remain at right mid, Henricks at right back, Oxford and Dunk at center back. Pop and Gunoli at left back, Lafont will remain in goal. On the bench we have Murray, Ince, Goldson, March, Sater, uh, Boyan, and Straight. Alright, here's Timothy Fosimensa. Take a nice fake shot. Let's try to go for a goal, and that believes it's a corner. Let's give it to Dunk. To uh, Fosimensa. To Leon Bailey. He's gonna go for a shot, and it gets saved by the keeper. Oh, here's Knockout. Through on goal. Knockout try to go for a shot, and it gets saved by the keeper. Oh, shit! Oh my goodness, full Sumenta from range scores and puts us in the lead now. I was trying to concentrate and get a goal because we're, we're a past half time and still nil nil. So I was trying to concentrate, did not talk, and I honestly did not expect full Sumenta to find the back of the net. I was just going and hoping it would. Alright, so now we finally scored a goal. It took 59 minutes to score. The first goal, let's hope uh, we can score more goals because 1-0 is not enough. It's a nice through about the lock, Knockhart. Knockhart trying to go for a goal and there we go. It's 2-0 now. We've got the two goal lead. And there we go. This time it's Fosu Menta who provides the assist to Knockhart. Send a nice through ball through here. And all I need to do is just finish it into the back of the net. Alright, here's Lawton. Lawton's through. Let's go for a goal and Lawton knocks it. He also picks up a goal. It's 3 0. Let's get down. After that first goal, it's a really good goal. 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 And that's what we did, and we easily found the back of the net. All right, let's make some substitution right now. Let's take off Towel for Ints. Um, let's also take off uh, Norwood for Straight, and put Straight uh, and Oxford. Switch those two guys. And last substitution can be um, let's uh, yeah, let's take off uh, Lawton for Murray. All right, here's Leon Bailey. Leon Bailey to Ints. To Fosso Mensa. Oh no way! Ah, oh, that's so unfair. What the hell? We hit the post. And that's a full time whistle. Holy shit, we could have made it 4 0 right there. Timothy Fosso Mensa hitting the crossbar at the end. Um, but yeah, 3 0 is still a good result. And I'm, I'm really happy with that. And there we go, Timothy Fosamenta picked up man of the match right here. 9.3 rating is his uh, final rating. And he picked up a goal and an assist. He could have picked up a second goal as well if he hadn't hit the crossbar. Um, Lawton uh, also getting somewhere close to him, gets a 9.2. Knocker getting a 9. Bailey and Papagnoli get an 8.5. And yeah, everyone else had an okay game. Alright, so next we have a game against Preston North End. They are sitting in 6th place in the table. But I'm going to sim, uh, sim this game, so let's hope we get a win. I'm also playing with my second team. We are the home team, so hopefully we will get the win. And nope, we end up losing. Shit. Um, Sidwell scores the only goal for us, while um, Oregon and McGeady score. Alright, next game will be against Wolverhampton Wolves, which I'll be playing this time. 
All right, so we got this game against uh, Wolverhampton Wolves. We are the home team, and I'm using the same lineup I did with the game against Sheffield Wednesday. And yeah, let's hope we get another three points. Oh, wow, that's a nice through ball. Come on, Tawell. Let's finesse that into the back of the net. It gets stopped. And I think... Oh, shit, no, never mind. No, we... Oh, my goodness, I don't even know what... Now, how did Lawton sky that over? Uh, that's a corner, that's a corner. That hit off his head. Alright, here's Talo again. This time, Talo finds it back in the net, and what a goal that was. Well, this time, Talo might have missed last time, but this time... Oh, shit, this camera angle is so shitty, but... What a nice... Top bins as well. Nice goal from Talo. Oh, come on, that's not a penalty, no. That is, oh, I slid way before he. No, that's, how is that? A, oh, come on, I got the ball first. Okay, now the Wolves have a chance to find the equalizer. And he missed, thank God for that. Alright, here's Leon Billy on the wing. Still Leon Billy. We're trying to sweat it off, but it gets... Cleared off for a corner. And, it'll go into the middle now. and this time off the corner, I believe that's Reese Oxford as well. Or is that Leon Bailey? It's Leon Bailey that scored the header off the set piece. We take another short corner. This time Lawton sends across. And Leon Bailey, I thought that defender would have cleared it off actually. That, that ball looked like it, oh, it went through it. Holy shit, that ball went through his leg. Oh, that defender had a mare. That's another penalty? What the hell? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I just blinked and I get a penalty. This time I went the same way and they converted it. Alright, here's Leon Belly on the ball. Leon Belly's gonna go for a goal and it gets saved by the keeper. Holy shit, that's a nice shot from him. Alright, here's Towel again. Tawo trying to go for another shot, but it gets blocked. That's a great interception. They've lost the ball in a bad area. It's a fine tackle, but it hasn't... Oh my goodness! Wow, what a nice play. Lawton scores another goal. And it's 3-1 up now. Holy shit. <laughs> Mensa and Lawton just kept on losing the ball right there. Mensa gives it to Lawton. Lawton loses the ball. It goes back to Mensa. He sends Lawton through and this Lawton just tucks it into the bottom corner and beating the keeper yet again. Wait, did I say yet again? I meant to say it, uh, for the second time in this episode. Uh, yeah, he did not score a goal in this game before this. Oh my goodness. That is a nice through ball. And there we go. It's 4-1. Holy shit, it's like dirt. Trying to do a, a offside trap against us, which does not work. And it's Richie Towel again. To be honest, that through ball meant to go to Richie Towel, but it went to Leon Billy for some reason. So I give it back to Richie Towel, hoping, hopefully, uh, that he was an offside, and he wasn't, and he just finessed to pass the keeper. All right, so right before I forget to make some substitutions, which I can keep on doing, uh, let's take off a uh, Fosamenta for Ince, take off Lawton for Murray. And you know, Hendrix is kind of injured, so we'll take him off for Sainter. Alright, here's Knockart now. Oh, come on, what a nice challenge. Knockart just does not have enough pace. He's, he's tired out. That could have been a 5 1 result. But yeah, Knockart lost pace. He had no energy in him whatsoever. But fair enough, 4 1 is still a good result. And this time it's. Kylan Mbappe a lot who gets man in the match right here. 9.5, that's, that's the rating he gets. Scores a goal and also got an assist. He just keeps on scoring for us, I swear. Since the last episode, he's been scoring every single game. Uh, Fosu Mensa also getting a close rating, almost man in the match uh, rating. It's a 9.4, better than the last game to be honest. Um, Tawa also performing well in this game as well, getting 9.3, scored two goals as well. Leon Bailey, even better game than last time, it's a 9.4, holy shit. We're trying to get, uh, realize who our main best players are. 
All right, so we just got news after that game. Benjamin Hendricks gets a broken toe and will be out for two months. He is our main first choice right back, so that's going to be a big, huge blow. And that means our captain, uh, Salter, has to get back in right back and play for right back for both the first team and second team. And he's pretty old, so he, he, his stamina will run up pretty fast, so it's just a huge blow. Alright, so next we have a game against Wigan Athletic, which I'll be simulating as well. This time we're their away team and also playing with our uh, B team since our first starting lineups are all um, tired from the last game. And holy shit, man, that's a mistake simulating. This game was a mistake. 3 0 is the result, but hey, uh, I don't know, man. I just went for it. I know simulating games is not really good because it's. I know it's supposed to be 50-50, but most of the time when you simulate games, you tend to get a loss or a draw, or even some players injured as well. But um, I'm just trying to get through this season fast because, well, I know it's uh, nice to get a team out of um, championship and promote them into Premier League, but um, it, the process is pretty long, so I, was, I just want to speed the process up. Um, we, have to, we, we have extra games as well in the championship, so we're not playing 38 games. I think we're playing like 44 or 46 games. So we're playing an extra few games, which would make the season much more longer. So yeah, I'm just trying to uh, speed things up. I'm planning to finish this whole season 1 in like 12 or 15 episodes. So yeah, I have to sim a few games for, to, for that to happen. But I'll be playing this game against Norwich City. Norwich City is a team that got uh, relegated last season from the Premier League. And that's the team that we chose for our Alex Hunter um, career mode, the journey. So if you guys haven't watched that, uh, please go watch it. And it's pretty interesting. All right, so this lineup seems to work for us all the time. So I'm going to keep with this lineup. We're, we have, uh, we're undefeated so far with this lineup, I think. I believe so. Um, well, other than the one game we played against... Um, forgot even the team we played against we lost three nothing other than that it's okay um only change is Hendrix will be out for um Salter because he's injured of of course and the bench will remain the same as well Martin, yeah. all right so we kick off this game against Norwich City we're playing home again against this team and let's hope uh we get the three points yet again oh that's not a penalty ref what the hell everything is a penalty for this no way, no, I got ball, no. Other two, you could say anything, but this one, I'm 100% sure I got the ball first. What the hell? Look at that, I got the ball first. Oh my god, referee is taking the piss. Honestly, if they score right now, I'm going to be so cheesed. Miss. Oh, he went down the middle. All right, I normally don't show you guys instant replays, but I'm going to show you right now. How is this a penalty? I'm gonna go through it slowly there. I get the ball first right there before I even make contact with him. Um, can I get a different angle? Yeah, right here. Look, I get I make contact with the ball first. There. I just don't I just don't understand how. How that's a penalty. Oh come on, it's a penalty! Referee! Holy shit, no! Come on, uh, uh, come on, let's instant replay that shit. Instant replay that shit. Look at that. Just. At the foul. Oh, come. And they called my penalty. They called my challenge a foul, uh, penalty. What the hell on earth is that? Yeah, time is running out. It's now or never. I think they've got to lift the game. Come on. Bruno! Bruno! Thank you! It's a captain! Oh my goodness! We've had calls go against us so many times. Finally, it's the captain, Bruno. <laughs> right back. Coming off for Hendrix, the injured Hendrix. Holy shit. Finally, someone does something that I wanted them to do. Salter just hammed that into the back of the net. And scored the equal against Norway. There's no way we deserve to lose against Norway. If anything, it should be a draw. But no, we have to win this. Oh my goodness. Man, Norway is pissing me off right now. We have to beat these guys. 
All right, let's mix, mix up substitution after that goal. Let's take off Fosu Mensa for Ince. Um, Bruno is really tired, so I'll take him off for straight since he could play there. Um, I guess you could take off Knockout for March as well. And that's a full time missile. There we go. It ends one all. And honestly, I do feel like we deserve a win because honestly, that penalty that was not even a penalty. And we had a penalty called two. And that was more, that looked more of a penalty foul than ours did. Just don't understand this, man. Whatever. I'll take a 1 1 draw against Norwich City. They are like at the top of the table as well. So it's all right. And Bruno Salta does pick up man of match right here, scores the equalizer and just left like a boss after the goal. Gets an 8 rating. Our whole team, man, I mean, I, I can't say that we played badly, but we could have played better. And just honestly, we just got, the referee was playing against us. Alright, so I, I got news right now saying that um, we're not... Um, um, we went on, we went on a track on a, one of our objectives. I checked. Um, it looks like it's for the brand exposure. It says sign one crucial first team player into a forward position. We did sign uh, locked in, so like he is crucial. Um, so I don't know what what they uh, decide as crucial. Maybe they want like do they, do they expect me to sign like Ibrahimovic or something? I don't know, man. Like. I signed lot and um, that's good enough. W with our uh, transfer budget, yeah, we can't. You can't expect us to sign someone like Costa or something. Um, I'm sorry, but we I already got my forward. Um, we don't have enough transfer budget to get another forward, so yeah, that, that we're not gonna finish that. All right, so this is how the table looks like after the end of the episode. Uh, we ended up playing five games. Two games were simulated. Um, three games we played and we were undefeated in the, uh, out of the games we played. Um, one was a draw and the other two were a win. Um, it's not bad, although the two games that we simulated were pretty bad. It kind of rang us down the table because uh, they're both losses. Um, so we're sitting in the seventh place right now with 24 points. Not exactly the uh, position I want us to be in. I want at least to be in the, uh, the top two spots. But, or if anything, the top six. But we're just close by. We're only a point away from Leeds United. Who used to be in first place they've dropped down to six they have 25 points Nottingham fourth and fifth with 25 points as well Preston and Newcastle in third and fourth with 27 Sheffield Wednesday who we beat in the beginning of the episode with 28 and Austin Villa uh, comfortably in the lead with 35 points um, the bottom of the table if you look at it it's Rotherham United Barnsley and Ispik uh, Town um, so yeah they look like from especially Ispik Town Alright, so that'll be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure to leave a huge like. It really helped me a lot. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you next time, the next episode.